Right, been a while. Lots of new stuff coming out. Um, yeah, been so bloody busy. Christmas out of the way, New Year. Whew, hope it's a good one. Um, I just thought I'd show you this quickly. Well, I say quickly, but I'll tell you what, we've played it for ages. Anyway, this is the Sindon. Waiting ages for this bloody thing. The Sindon USB computer games games camera based controller. Uh, this is so we don't have CRT TVs use the old guns like PlayStation and Dreamcast. And with the new LCD TVs, we can't use them because they don't reflect the, the light gun signal. So some clever dick, this guy, whoever he was, actually made a gun that works on an LCD TV. And uh, I bought the basic version because it was under a quid. So I thought, well, it's better to try it, see what it's like. If it's even better, then I can order the one with the um, the recall, which is a lot more money. And uh, so I thought I'd give it a bow, give it a go. A bow. Whatever. Anyway, thought I'd give it a go. And uh, it turned up just after Christmas, which is a bit of a surprise. So um, just thought I'd quickly show you... Um, it has been a bitch to do. It's not as easy as they make out and show you. The setups are quite hard. If, you, if you've got a machine, you know, you do need some bit of know-how. We watch a few YouTube inter uh, videos. Um, but even then, it's still a bit. So it is not as easy as step-by-step -step with a PlayStation 2. Or a, you can just plug it in and off you go. But these things, a little bit of setting up to do. And it is a pain in the ass. So I just thought I'd show you the box. There he is. Um, pretty basic. There is also um, a red, a blue one, uh, a black one, which I didn't know. And they have what you call a camera ID. Now, I didn't know this till the other day. Was that if you have two separate ones, they both, they've both got different settings for each, each gun. So if you don't have two red ones at the same time, otherwise you've got to mess around with settings. So make sure you, you make life easy for yourself. Or I, from what I've seen is buy a blue one and a red one so they've both got the separate identities which is a handy tip to know because I, I will get another one but like you say it's uh, get used to using it first so yeah so that's so that was a good one I just asked for any colour anyway so they sent me they sent me a red one yeah I think it's red anyway so this is what it comes like in the box so um, open up and it's just a bit of sponge on the top and there he is. It's quite bigger than I thought. I thought it would be a little bit smaller. But yeah, it's got uh, two buttons on there. Arrows up and down. A trigger. And also on the other side, another couple of buttons. Uh, this one seems tends to stick a little bit. This doesn't really come out. I don't know why that is. But I've had to tap it a couple of times. So I have got a bit of a sticky button there. So I don't know what to do about that. I don't really want to undo it, but... It does, it does tend to work when you give it a bit of a bump. But anyway, I'll even sort that out later. Um, the cable on it, yeah, it's, it's, it's enormous. Fair dues to them. I will give them the credit. They have made an extra long cable. And you do need it. I mean, fair dues. The only thing I did notice is that if you look on there, no real enforcement. And you can see there's a slight bend oh, behind the camera. Uh, it's like, I mean, that after time is going to, I don't know. Will it play up? I don't know. But the other end is just a normal USB end. But yeah, feels nice. It's just the right weight, I think. Uh, with the recall, I don't know how much heavier that would be. But like I say, there we go. So I've got it in red or orange, whichever. What did it say? Red. It's more orange to me, but there you go. Orange tip. Well, well, I don't know. Whatever that means. Anyway, must be a reason why they put that on the box. Anyway, so, right, all I'll do is set this up and show you. Plug it in the USB. Get to find the other end of the cable. Um, plug it in my PC. Put the sponge back. And we'll just load the software's on. I don't know if you can see this, but the software is nice and basic, really. But again, you still got to know what to do on these. Um, they all got different configurations. 
you get your iPhone. As soon as I had it, I bunged it on. Bloody 31st of December came along. New Year's Day, I got it all perfectly working. As soon as it changed the bloody firmware, bang, I had problems trying to get it working again. So I don't like the idea of them doing updates. So I've done the firmware calibration um, update, piece of piss, plugs it on, a little bar comes across here, and it does it. So there's no hassles there. So I've got the latest version on it at this minute is 1.4. Um, yeah, so again, it's... Oh, I turned it on. If you turn it on, I'll just show you what it's like. So you can see the configuration. Um, I'll show you where you can see the camera. Um, oh, come on. Is it dodgy when you're trying to... So you set your forward configure. Oh, that's it. Go back. Where's the picture? Oh, I've done it again. Come on. Where's the bit with the alignments? There it is, alignment on it. So you can see the pointer is moving up. I'm using the mouse's. So if I show you the bit forwarder. Configuration. Oh, I've done it again. Back up here. Come on. This is a bloody nightmare. Here we go. So you can see on here now, if you can see, you can actually see that I'm using the pointer and the camera on the end of the gun. It shows you where you went. You can see it go left and right and up and down. Brilliant. But it works. So, yeah, it seems quite smooth. But when I run a game, I tend to find, well, I'll show you what I did. I did the only way I can really get to work is the NES. And... Um, Where's my emulator? Um, it's in the light games, but there's there's Topia I used, and if I can get the reading, just turn it off for one second. Oh, come on. I just turn this off for a second, and then just set up the NES Topia. I'll load up the gun, uh, open, we'll do Duck Hunt, which is the most famous one. So I'll set that up, and then what we'll do, we'll stick the, the thingy on, the gun, so you, you load, the, load the game, and this, this is what I do anyway. So you can see the gun's working. Right, so click outside back onto your, your game. And you also need to put your board up by pressing, well, in my case, it's, there it is. So you press, well, I've got the one button set up, and you've got your board around the edge. So you can make that smaller, bigger. Anyway, as you can see, the point is on the screen. I'll just show you a bit of stuff too. Oh, that's a problem as well. I haven't changed the settings. So it should be. So yeah, so as you see, I've got working mint with um, jump and um, As you can see, it is I quite enjoy playing this on a on my monitor. So, but as you can see, it's very precise, and it is, and it does so what it says on the box. So, very clever. But um, this is the only game I could get to work so far. And uh, like I say, it, it's not easy so to set up other things to it. But as far as this is going, um, I'm quite happy. So it does what it says. It does what it says on the box. So I'm quite happy. Happy with it so far. So, so there. I just thought I'd show you a quick interview. A quick interview. A quick demonstration uh, of this. And I'll be starting to do a few more videos on it. Um, but yeah um 100 quid yeah definitely worth it um like you say little things it could have done um but like i say everything takes time people want to see what it's like and then uh as time goes on it'll get more expensive as they do uh as soon as they start adding options but anyway just thought i'd show you that um well chuffed with it um like i say 
it's not something you can learn learn overnight by the look of it so it spent me a good day messing around just to get where i am now anyway thanks for watching and hopefully we'll have another one out in less than a week all right then bye bye for now